Hey guys, how y'all been? Everybody been doing okay? Uh, I know y'all hadn't seen me in a while. Been busy with, had a few health issues, had to have a little procedure done, but I'm good to go. Uh, hadn't had anything to do on the boat. Uh, boat's in the shop getting some warranty stuff done, and while they had it, I told them to go ahead and do a few other things to it while they got it, just so I wouldn't have to fool with it. But I got something I want to show y'all. I've got a thing for my hummingbirds. It's called a wall outlet adapter. You're able to plug in your hummingbird, and if you're on the road, pull your units off at your hotel, you can take your unit inside, plug this adapter in, and turn on your unit, look at your map, study the map, or you know, reorganize your waypoints and all that stuff. Let me flip this camera around and show you. Now, the boat y'all are fixing to see belongs to a buddy of mine. He just brought it to me the other day. I got to do some work on it for him while mine's gone. Uh, let me show you all this little uh, deal right here I got. Hey, Mama. This is what I got right here. This little jewel right here. Let's see here. There's the end of it. This one right here is the... There's your part number right there. See the little, the, the line? This is the part number. They make two of these, one for the Helix and one for your Solix and Apex units. This one here is for the Helix units, which is that part number right there, the 7570202. Hey, Christy, how you been? Uh, now, the one that I have, this, this part number right here, that part number right there is for the Helix units only. The Solix units have a different plug-in, but let me show you how it works. You take this, I've got my extension cord right here. All you gotta do, pretend, pretend that that right there is your wall outlet. You just plug it in like that. Then you plug it into your back. Like that. You got all these ports in the back. You got your power, this is a speed and temp scent. This is the Helix units now, not the Solix. You got your power, your speed and temp sensor that you can plug into this. Then you have the, uh, which one was that one? Hell, I don't forgot which one that one was. Hold on, I'll tell you exactly what it was. Yes, yeah, right, that, this, this one right here is for your communications. This right here is your NEMA. This is your transducer. Now let me show you what this little booger here you can do with it. As you can tell, not on nothing. Plug it up, bingo. You can sit in your hotel room, do whatever it is you wanna do with it. Now I've also got something else. Oh, this little jewel right here, if you go on Hummingbird's website to order one of these, this is the one you'll see in the picture, but it's not the part number. The part number that Hummingbird is showing, hold on, the part number that Hummingbird shows on the website is different than what this part number is, the one that I have. Uh, Hummingbird said it was just a, a, a misprint on the picture, should have had the other picture, because this thing right here that I have it does not show it on the website. You have to call in to Hummingbird to order this specific one for your Helix. See, right? All right, I'm going to turn this back around now. See? I can plug it in and sit here and play with my thing all day long. Ha <laughs> uh, I got this little part a few weeks ago. I went into it. We've had, since Hayes has been on the road, fishing college tournaments and all that stuff. I've had to go in. Let me see if I can find all this. I've went in, sat in the living room, and just went over. Renamed every waypoint that we have. Just, it really took me two days to go through this unit and rename all this stuff. It was freaking crazy. That boy had more stuff on here. But I also want to show y'all something else that I have. That's Map Carbon Lake. Now, show y'all another little gizmo gadget that I bought. 
when you're sitting there, turn back around. When you're sitting there fishing, Sonny Avery Jones, what's happening, brother? Uh, what's up, Mr. Lorenzo? Go. I can't read it. Guys, I'm sorry. I can't hardly read the screen of who I was here. Uh, I got to get some glasses, guys. I got some readers. Hold on. <laughs> Look at there, my old man glasses. <laughs> now then, uh, I got a new little toy that your GPS, while you're sitting there fishing, on your hummingbirds, if you ever notice while you're sitting there fishing, your little boat icon turns into a little round dot. And if you notice that you got to get your boat moving a little bit in order for it to actually pick up and show your boat icon. Well, let me show you another little jewel that I got right here. I got this right here. This is the hummingbird. AS, GPS, HS, Precision GPS, and Compass. This is a heading sensor. It comes with your book. Now, it comes with a, a little stand. You can mount it on a little stand. It comes with your hardware. Now, let me show you how this works. If y'all will look right here. See, I'm in, the, I'm in the shop right now. I see my boat icon. My signal's going in and out. It's going in and out where I'm sitting. See, now, let me show y'all. You plug this in back here. Which one to go into? Where's my thing at? There it is. Just plugs in right there. Flip it around. This is your, uh, this is your uh, NEMA stuff. Plugs into your communications. That is, that, Commun I say communications. That is your COM port. See it right there? Your other one, remember this right here is your Ethernet. This right here is what links your units, what goes to your Ethernet box and all that, and that is your transducer. This right here plugs into your COM. Now, look right there. I want y'all to watch this. Probably got to go in and reset it. Let's go in. Let me show y'all how to go into this. Go into your navigation, I think. Of course, projection standard. You got to go in and set this thing up. And to be real honest with you guys, I got to remember which one it goes into. But the book right here will tell you which one you go into. The book will. Here it is right here. Oh, get that, that, that gummit. Go into your setup. Integrate with Nav GPS fault. Global positioning system. You see that right there? That's what you got to go into. Go into your setup. You scroll down right here. Your GPS global positioning system. Exit all that. Boom. There it is. Now. Show you how precise this is. It's facing north right now. Well, what in the world is going on? Wait a minute, I got it up under this thing. Got it under it. Oh, well, now it ain't going to act right. Well, it looked like we just got an issue. Gosh, dog it. Hold on, let me go back in here. Go back into my setup. format on exit there we go well guys now I'd be real honest with you I'm having a freaking issue right here there it is no it ain't there it is ah, it ain't plugged up I think I played with this damn thing earlier there we go It's having a hard time picking up in this building is what it is. That's what it is. It's not picking up in the building. Let me get all this out here a little bit. 
Let me get it going. Nah, it ain't picking up. Well, guys, I don't know what in the world just happened here. Yeah, Sonny, I need to get that. All right, now, when it acts like this, you go into the book. Actually, be real honest with y'all guys, I really haven't played with it. I did read the book on what to do. Well, we'll just work on all this together. We'll learn everything right here. We know it's plugged up. Let's see here, where's my pop-off glasses? We can get this jewel here right here figured out. Yeah, it's not gonna pick up in this building. That's that's gonna be my problem. That is my problem right there. But y'all can see, yeah, that's the problem. It's not in this building. And I can't get it out here to where, well, I can't get it out here to where y'all can see this. Maybe, hold on a second. Y'all guys, give me just a second. I'll get it set up where it's out here. All right, let's see him. Move this bad boy right here where I got position. Cut her back on. That right there just shows you how important it is. You got to have a clear view of the sky for your GPS to pick up. It's out here and it's raining too. Hold on, guys. System startup menu. You gotta give it a second to boot up. Boom. There we go. There we go. Now, gotta get it out here in, in the clear to where it will pick up. Now, see, we're just sitting there. That's all it is. If you move this thing, see, I'm barely, barely turning it right now you got to have a clear view pretty much a clear view of the sky i'm sorry it didn't pick up a minute ago but i was i was in this in the shed right here and here and it won't pick up but as y'all can see let me get it over here so y'all can see it now you gonna see how i'm turning it y'all see the air wherever it is you point this air towards straight whenever you mount it on the boat you point this air straight to the boat See, now I'm pointing due north. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let's see if I can get up here a little closer. Y'all can see me turn this thing. See how I barely turn it and it moves? Just barely turn it. This right here, I got this to help haze. See how I'm turning it? And my boat's turning? That's what you want right there. This little jewel right here is key. If you're sitting there trying to fish a waypoint, Go back. If you're sitting there trying to fish a waypoint and it's hard to do because your boat icon turns into a circle, if you get the, it's the AS GPS HS Precision GPS. That will show you your boat icon and you can, you with your boat icon, you know exactly which way you're facing. You see a waypoint to the left or right. Your screen will jump a little bit. Also on these hummingbirds, and you know which way to go because you got your boat icon and you know exactly which way you're facing. Like I said, see, there it is. Let's see here, turn around and show you this one one more time. Well, I got all this cord in the way. Be glad when I get my boat back where I can mount all this. But you see how it turns? As I turn this, this right here turns with it. Now, Hayes, ain't gonna have a hard time setting up on the spots and let me show you all this adapter thing again this now remember that's the part number right there that you want that this is for the helix units the in the 800 units the 700s and the 900 units if you have a solix or the apex units you're gonna need the different part number and to be honest with you i don't know what part number it is you will have to You'll have to look up Hummingbird's website, and it is on there. And if I had another phone right here, another way of the internet, I would pull that up and show it to you. Probably should have wrote it down, but I didn't. 
But that's the new toys we got. But I'm show y'all what else we got going on. It's a buddy of mine boat. I got to do some plumbing work in here for him. But I hadn't been able to do nothing. But like I said, guys, sorry y'all ain't seen me a while. I just, I, I've been busy. Been busy, laid up, and everything else. Guys, I'm going to get off here. I got my kids coming to see me here in a little bit. And I'll catch you. Hey, James. I What's up, Mr. James Grimsley? But I will see y'all later. Shut the live well.